Welcome back to another Good Good Labs video. In today's video, we're gonna be hitting some long iron, and we have the man Tig on the channel, and as you guys know, he's one of the best long iron players in the group. He hits his two iron off the tee a ton, and he's gonna share some advice with you on how to hit those long irons solid, because they're some of the hardest clubs in the bag to hit. Yeah, I would say that they are, and they're kind of something that kind of haunt, I guess, a lot of uh, weekend warriors, a lot of a lot of amateur golfers, really. I mean, we're kind of all considered amateurs, but right. it's just something, long irons, for some reason, are something that people kind of shy away from. So we're going to hopefully, you know, walk through a couple things that are going to, you know, ease that pain and, you know, be able, be able to hit some irons, maybe even a two iron if you have one. Tig's going to start out with a four iron, and then we'll work our way up to his two iron that you guys all seem to love. So let's get right into this. All right, first thing with your forearm when you're hitting it, what's the main thing setup-wise that you do different with a long iron? For me, um, I always have the ball probably, I would say about three, or two and a half to three balls forward of center. I think that's a big thing that, when even what sometimes I will forget is like, I have the ball too far back with a long iron and that causes so many problems when you have a longer club in your hand. So I would say the biggest thing when, I, when it comes to setup is making sure that that ball is just inside my left heel, really. That's about where I play it. Let's look at Micah's ball position right here so as you guys will notice right away that's center if that was center he's two to three balls like he said ahead of center so you don't want to be playing these long irons back in your stance because you're gonna hit them too low and you're not gonna expose enough loft to him I mean that that goes hand in hand but that's what happens a lot of the times with long irons is people hit them too low if you want to get that height on it you got to move it up and swing confidently. And another common misconception is with long irons, people think they have to hit down on them to be able to get the ball up. And like you just said, they're not trusting that loft. And for me, it's more of a sweeping motion with a look. You don't have to really focus on taking a huge divot with long irons in order to be able to get them off the ground because that's what the loft is made for. So from there, I see a lot of people when they set up to these clubs, they come in and they're, they're coming over the top and they're really just trying to hit down on this ball and I don't know what it is to get it up in the air. With me, I'm focused on making a nice sweeping motion coming in just from a little bit from the inside and just letting the loft get that ball up in the air. All right, and one more thing that I focus on here is grip pressure. And what I like to think about is if I'm squeezing this club really, really tight, that's a 10. And if I'm dropping it, that's a one. I like to focus on keeping my grip pressure at about a three. But really a three or a four is about the least I can get without letting this club fly out of my hands. And what that allows me to do is feel where the club head is on the downswing and then really feel it through impact and just let it flow freely. And that is a huge thing when it comes to hitting long irons and drivers. hit it much better than that guys. I noticed one thing, Garrett and I recently just went to Vegas and played in a Pro-Am, a tour event, and I was on the range watching all the best players in the world hit the ball, like Rory, Dustin Johnson, all those guys, and they were hitting long irons at one point, and none of them even barely took a divot. So they were basically picking their long irons right off the turf, barely taking divots. So if you guys are taking big, steep divots with your long irons, you know there's something a little bit off. That height right there also, Micah, is caused by his ability to create a lot of speed, which creates spin to keep the ball up in the air. So that does help him hit those high towering four irons and two irons because he does swing it so fast. Tig's gonna move on to the two iron here, and this is the club that he hits farther than almost everybody in Good Good's driver. I mean, it's ridiculous. He probably hits this thing when he hits a good like 280 to 300. My two iron is my go-to off of the tee, and this is kind of my fairway finder. This is a really hard club to hit, but once you can learn how to hit it, it's a game changer for your game if you, I really replace my three wood with this is what it comes down to. It spins a little less, which I like. It's definitely a hard club to hit, and so we're gonna, you know, we're gonna go over those things and, you know, help you guys hit a two iron or a driving iron, whatever it may be. Personally, I've actually never had a long iron in my bag. My irons have always stopped at a four iron, and then I've gone to the hybrids, because I've really, I've always enjoyed hitting hybrids. They're a little bit more forgiving, so I didn't really want to sacrifice that but two irons if you're a really good ball striker like Micah you can hit them they're not for everybody though this is a club where I usually try to like I'm always trying to flight this club depending on the shot that I'm hitting but most of the time I'm trying to flight it I'm trying to hit a mid-flight shot with low spin that's gonna run out a lot so it gives maximum distance without having to try to overpower it so even let's just even look at this real quick it's my four iron and this is my two iron so you can see the, the distance there as you're getting a longer club it it makes a huge difference when it comes to hitting this club and hitting a driver or a three wood. 
thing that people don't understand is you have to be very patient when you get a longer club in your hand. It's really easy to get quick when you have a, when you have a longer club because you think that, I don't know if it's subconscious, but the biggest thing for me when I'm hitting a longer club is to stay patient. And I would say my ball position setup all pretty much stay the same that we just explained with a four iron, but it's just waiting a little bit longer to, to fire and get through the ball because if you don't, you're gonna get stuck, gonna hit a slice, gonna hit a block or something. I'm just gonna start off by hitting just a, a standard shot, not really doing anything to it. As you can see, my ball position may be just a little bit farther, I mean, yeah. half an inch, maybe an inch farther forward than my four iron, but right. that's just because it's a longer club and I'm, I'm trying to continue that sweeping motion. But from there, it's pretty much the same thing. I'm not really trying to take it a divot at all with this club. It's a treat to be able to play with Micah when he's hitting this club good because it does go on a rope and he never really misses the fairway with it. It's a huge advantage to his game. But that is what he did mention with the sweeping motion. That is key, guys, to hitting these long irons. The sweeping motion. I think that's one of the biggest takeaways from today's video is moving that ball position forward and maintaining a sweeping motion. So this is my four iron, this is my two iron, and as you, like, obviously, most driving irons you'll see, they have a bit of a thicker head, and it's just, it's, it's a little beefier club. This right here, this part of the club, it actually makes it so that it doesn't get stuck in the ground. You get learning to trust that and, and not think that you have to take a divot with, this, with clubs like this makes a huge difference in just trusting the bounce. To just kind of briefly summarize what we just went over, make sure your ball position is forward two to three balls from the center of your stance. Make sure you're focusing on a sweeping motion, not digging into the ground or taking a divot with these longer irons or two driving irons. And then one last thing, make sure your grip pressure is staying very even throughout your swing. If you have a really strong, tight grip, it's gonna be hard to feel that club head and hard to uh, get control of it through the impact. So those are my tips for hitting a two iron. Grant's gonna hit a couple hybrids here uh, before we wrap up this video. All right guys, to wrap up this video, I'm gonna hit a couple hybrids. Like I mentioned a little bit earlier in the video, not everybody chooses to hit a two iron because I've always hit this hybrid here. This is one old club, it's a ping, and this is a club that I've used all throughout college and I never felt the need to start hitting a long iron because this is equivalent to a two iron. So let's hit a couple shots here. I'm gonna focus on the same things Tig just went over, moving that ball position forward and sweeping it. Hopefully you guys did learn a lot from today's video. Long irons are obviously the hardest in the bag to hit. And like my dad always said, he said, if you're hitting your long irons good, like your four iron and two iron and whatever, you know you're swinging good. Because if you can hit those consistently good, high, you know you're swinging well. So if you guys have not already, hit that subscribe button, guys. We're all free golf content. Make sure you hit that like button. And let us know in the comments more ideas and more uh, questions you guys have and videos you guys want to see on the channels. Until next time, guys, peace out.